Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Phoenix Miner on a Windows 10 PC. Now, earlier this year, there's been a lot of current controversy around Phoenix Miner and its mysterious uh, developers. And uh, let me just show you one of the posts. So so here's a post from NiceHash, and it, has a, it goes into a little bit of detail. It talks about um, the author being anonymous and it not being digitally signed, and there being a lot of related issues with it, and possibly malicious software being injected into it somehow. And I'm just talking about this because I want you to be cautious if you decide to use it. I cover a lot of different mining software on this forum, so if you're not, you can always check out these videos. I'm just gonna list them at the bottom here. And if you wanna use something else that's less controversial, you can check those out. <laughs> If you're proceeding with this installation, I'm going to give you all the direct links so you can do it safely and also take a little bit of precautions. And I'll show you how to validate everything that you're downloading. This is where you're going to want to go to download the official files. I'm going to put the link for this in the description as well. They also have the checksum files right here so you can validate the files that you're downloading. I'm going to be downloading the Phoenix Miner for Windows and I'll show you how to just verify this as well. And what we'll do is we'll just download it right now. So I'm going to be downloading the Windows version. So at the time of recording, it's version 5.7B and the release date was August 15th, 2021. So we'll just click on that and let it download. It's a five meg file. It shouldn't take too long to download. So I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to say save as. So we're going to download the files inside a specific folder. This folder, my minor folder here, has been added to the Windows exclusion list. And this is going to allow it to run safely on your computer and avoid uh, being flagged by the operating system. If you don't know how to do that, you can check out this video and I'll show you how to do that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to open it up and we're going to save the Phoenix minor file inside here. And we're going to click on save. And you might get this prompt where it's saying it's dangerous or malicious. And these are some of the caution things that you're going to have. And what I'm do is I'm just going to click on show all. And in here, I can just say keep dangerous file and then, and then keep anyway. And it's going to save it inside my minor folder. So let me just close out of this and I'll minimize this. And I'm going to go into my minor folder. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to validate the file. And we're going to use a checksum website. This is an online tool. Uh, that can be found and I'll link this as well in the description below and what we have to do is we're going to be using the SHA256 file checksum and this will be the one that we're trying to match right over here we're going to be using the Windows one so we're going to be validating this file and this number so I'm going to take the zip file that I have and I'm going to drop it in and it's going to pop up a hash number over here and we're just going to Make sure it's the exact same thing. Yeah, so this looks good. So we've download, downloaded the correct file. It's been validated and we have no issues with it right now. So we can go ahead and continue with our installation. And here is the Phoenix Miner. Just gonna right click on it and I'll say extract all and it's gonna extract all the files inside the same folder under its own name. And here we go. So I'll just uh, double click and open it up. And inside here, we have the miner itself. And what we need to do is now configure the miner bat file, which is the batch file. We're gonna right click on it and we're gonna say edit. So Phoenix Miner has a few things that we're gonna change. We're gonna change the pool and they have two listed here. You don't have to have both of them, but I'm gonna use both of them. And then we also have the wallet address and then we have the miner, the miner worker name. Right now it's labeled as rig001. So I'm going to be using the fly pool mining pool uh, in this example, and we're going to be using uh, the Ethereum one. And what we just have to do is just click on start mining. And inside here, we have a list of servers and we actually have two in the US that we can use. So I can actually put them both in here. I'm on the east side of uh, the, the continent. So I'm just going to be using the east server here. So I'm going to move over and let me just resize this so you can see it properly. Okay, so the first pool, I'm gonna be just removing this one. They have the Europe one, and I'm gonna paste in the US one, and the SSL port is 5555, and we have that, which is great. And now we're gonna be doing the second one right over here. I'm just gonna highlight this, and I'll paste it in. 
and the port as well is going to be 5555. And now what we want to do is change the wallet address. So you're going to put in your own wallet address. Please don't put in my wallet address or the one that's in default. You want to get paid for your mining, so make sure this is changed. So let me just go over to my wallet, and I'll get that right now. So now I'm going to be pasting in my address. So I've changed it, and it now has my wallet address. And this is for your worker, so the name. This is just a label. It allows you to see it easily when you go back to the website and you try to find out what your miner name is. Um, I will just put in, uh, so in this example, I'll just put in crypto jar here. Okay, so I have crypto jar in there and now the last step is just to save our changes. So I'm gonna file menu and then save it. And we're pretty much good to go. So I can close out of this and uh, can start my miner. I'm gonna right click on it and run as administrator. Say yes to the prompt. And there we go. It's allowing that's it. We're requesting access right now. We can say allow access and now we're mining. So it successfully started up and we're mining Ethereum using Phoenix miner on a Windows 10 PC. So it's pretty straightforward. There's just a few little changes that you can do here and there. And one of the things that you can try to do is change the pool. If you don't like the pool that I'm using, which is Ethermine, you can switch to another pool. You just update those details as needed. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're looking for other tutorials for miners or other things related to crypto, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow it as fast as I can. If you have any suggestions or questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.